travel guide for first time Bali, where to eat, stay and play, by Samantha Chalker, Lonely Planet writer. Decades of tourism haven't dampened Bali's deep-rooted spirituality and natural charms. Volcanoes rise from the sea, monkeys swing in the trees, and there are still dozens of idyllic spots to escape the crowds. And all of this paradoxical magnificence is crammed onto an island less than half the size of Greater Tokyo. But first-time visitors to Bali can be forgiven for being confused about what to expect. Images from holiday brochures and Hollywood films contrast with rumors that Bali is crowded with Australian tourists, dangerous to visit, and tragically overdeveloped a criticism that could be levied at any number of global tourist hotspots. Discover it yourself with our guide to finding your own PS of paradise on the island of the gods, Kuta, Legion and Semenayak. Semenyuk remains an epitome of sophistication, Kuta still plays the wild child, and Legion falls somewhere in between. But this 12 km stretch off South Bali all boasts wonderfully diverse shopping, myriad accommodation options, world-class dining, authentic warungs, food stalls, beach bars, clubs and day spas. Must-dos include sunset cocktails at Potato Head Beach Club, Congo Lines and Coconut Cocktails at Motel Mexicola, motelmexicola.com, haggling and people watching on Cuta Beach, and a day of shopping and eating on JL Laxmana, also known as Abaroa, Eat Street or JL Kayuaya. You will be hard-pressed to find a traveler on the island who hasn't dipped into this lively precinct. Greater Kanga most maps still class this area as North Kuta. But locals will insist the expat heavy enclave off Kanga has well and truly arrived. Greater Kanga, including Umalas, Karobokan, Echo Beach, Burwa and Prarainan, has lured a carefree and creative crowd. You might find yourself maneuvering a scooter between lost cows on your way to a perfect macchiato at Crate Cafe, about a kilometer back from the beach on Batu Belong, or savoring vegan pad thai at Green Ginger Noodle House. Accommodation here is less about upmarket chain hotels and more about boutique and unique, from upscale luxury villas like Red or Bali to cheap and cheerful bungalow hideaways like United Colors of Bali. The Air Aisto Do list has lengthened considerably over the past decade, with a 10-pin bowling alley, tennis courts, a water park, and trampoline center in Takanga Club precinct alone. Don't miss a trip to neighboring Tabananas for a Tana La Temple that sits among crashing waves on an isolated rock. Bukit Peninsula, NUSADUA and Jim Baron Bathe Fist of Land jutting out from Southern Valley encompasses diverse tourist centers offering their own versions of a dreamy day at the beach. The Bukit Peninsula offers up the world-famous waves of Fulu Watu, Surf Shack vibes off Binging, and unfat home of likelier waters of Dreamland and Pandange Padang. If you've been pawing through holiday brochures, you may recognize one of ULU's main attractions, the Rock Bar at Ayana Resort, overlooking Jimbaran Bay. This glamorous venue is accessible by an air elevator that is rarely without a sizable sunset queue. Sweeping south from Bali's airport, Jim Baron Bay itself is more low-key. Tourists line up for freshly barbecued seafood, but more adventurous travelers should swap seafood warungs for Jim Baron Fish Market. Over at Nasa DUA, things revert back to elegant and excessive, with top-of-the-line golf courses, umpteen high tea options and five-star resorts aplenty. Ubud and Central Bali a haven for the artistic, spiritual and alternative, Ubud is where Bali's heartbeat can be heard. Here, vegan cafes, crystal shops, chakra cleansing workshops and canvas artwork stores reign supreme. Other draw cards include the Royal Palace, the cheeky inhabitants of the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary, and Boho Shopping Galore. A swanky trip to Ubud might include a stay at the indulgent Bidadari Retreat and a night of palate pleasuring at Lokivore. A more grassroots experience could include experimental dance classes at perfectly peculiar Michi Retreat, and deep conversations over Quinoa Atalchami. Central Bali's tapestry of wonders stretches well beyond Ubud. The valleys flowing off Gunning Batakru, Mount Batakru, rice terraces off Manduk, the lakes and botanical gardens off Bidugyal, and holy water bathing site off Terte Ampil Temple are just a few places well worth a visit. East Valley and Stander with arguably the Icelandis bus dive spots right off the shores of Ophamed and Candidasa, and the island's highest point, Gunning, Mount, Agong, looming authoritatively above them, East Valley is a place of literal highs and lows. Make time for the floating palace of Puri Taman Yujung and seek out the quaint fishing village of Ahmed, home to the jam, tea, kombuka garden of Fayona, great villas, such as Bukit Segara, and restaurants offering every variation of mahi-mahi under the scorching Indonesian sun. Sanar blends the best of the laid-back fishing village feel of the east and the great dining and lodging on offer in the south. 
Try your hand at kite surfing or learn the intricacies of Indonesia's culinary favorites at Bamboo Shoots Cooking School. Coincide your visit with the International Kite Festival to see Santa in full swing. North Valleying North Valley, days start with dolphin watching trips from Lovina in traditional outrigger canoes, followed by long afternoons bathing in the Masi Air Terjun, waterfalls, of Sekumpil, Jitjit and Sambangan. Be prepared for a few stairs, but as a general rule, more stairs equal less crowds. For a window into Bali's past, swing by the town of Singaraja, the administrative center of Bali during Dutch colonial times and, until the boom of the south, the port of arrival for most visitors. West Bali Many travelers can't look beyond West Bali as the gateway to good surf, blazing their way to Midway or Java. All the while, they are skirting the stunning Taman Taman Nasional Bali Barat, West Bali National Park, with its calm, secluded beaches that are home to families of wild deer, and unique regional flavors like Ayam Bay Tutu, a wood-smoked chicken broth served with rice and spicy spinach. Off the coast of West Bali, Menjangan Island offers one of Bali's least crowded dive spots, despite the appeal of its fluorescent marine life and surreal coral cliffs. On the high edge of West and North Valley, the mythical stone fountain bath so fair Panis Banjarno to the island's strong spiritual roots. Pocket Ballot $13.99 Lonely Planets Pocket Bali's Year Passports are the most relevant, up-to-date advice on what OCN skip, and what hidden discovery is saw white you. Buys at Shop Nusa Lembongan when the madness of the mainland gets too much, NUSA Lembongan is just a 30-minute boat ride across the Badung Strait. Ignoring the presence of a few new resorts and modern cafes, the appeal of Lembongan lies in the authenticity of island life. While away your days surfing, diving and snorkeling, experimenting with yoga moves on a stand-up paddleboard, kayaking through mangrove forests, or getting a feel for the island's seaweed farming industry. If that doesn't keep you occupied, walk the yellow suspension bridge ton USA sending in where you can dine or sleep at the boat shed style La Pirate Beach Club.